Hey everybody, welcome to The Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andres Salazar, and today I am so excited to talk about someone that I have just discovered. I am late to the train, the dance, whatever. Boom. Junji Ito. Let's talk about Junji Ito. Oh, yeah. Junji Ito. Um... I had heard his name bandied about in manga, and uh, I've only really honestly been reading manga for the last five years, okay? So when I was a kid, besides Akira, I haven't read that much manga um, back then. Now I got into like Lone Wolf and Cub, which yes, we're gonna talk about, and a bunch of other stuff. But recently, uh, I go to Little Tokyo a lot and kind of go check out stuff, and uh, I read Death Note, which I have over there, wonderful book. Um, and I've been hearing about this Junji Ito guy. And so I picked it up. It's, this is short, 13 short stories. It's called Smashed. This is the first Junji Ito book I've read. And we're going to do a deep dive on it. We're going to talk about the art. We're going to talk about the stories. But I'm going to just say right now before we do that, this is very, very, very good. Let's go talk about it. Let's go... Okay, everybody, let's talk about Smashed and Junjito's first, this book. Uh, this is his most recent book. Um, it is by Viz, Viz Media, and it was $23. And let me tell you, straight up, real shoot talk, this was a great book and definitely, I think, worth it. Definitely is worth the book. It's worth the price. I loved it. It's 13 of these short stories, and I just thought it was... Just really good. Now, I'm not a huge horror guy. I say that after, you know, writing a Western horror. Um, but I'm looking at my books right now. I don't say I have a huge bunch of horror stuff. But this stuff was a lot of fun. He, um, and I think it's very accessible to Western. It's not, you don't have to be a big manga guy. I think, you know, you read Spider-Man and Batman, whatever, and I think you could pick this up. I don't think there's an issue with it at all. Um, each one of these is good. I'm not going to spoil the the twists i'm gonna do my best not to do any of that man i really want to though i really want to go into it but i'm not i'm just i'm just really trying to sell you on this and i don't know why because i'm not getting anything out of uh you know Vizio, viz entertainment is not giving me no money just want to talk to you about it the story ideas some of the great great ideas um i've never seen before i've never heard you know every halloween time october i watch 31 movies 31 horror movies, one a day for the whole month. I do that every year. I've done that for like five years. I've seen a lot of horror movies. I've seen just about most everything that's considered good. And um, so when you see that much, you kind of think like, well, I've kind of seen it all. Well, guess what? You haven't seen it all. This guy is pulling out concepts and ideas that are so different, so unique about you know, falling in love and losing weight and these bats. I won't even go, but the art is good. Um, it's not, it, it does have some duo tone, but it's not super heavy, like uh, screen tone work. Um, I think it's, some of these stories, oh my gosh. There's this one about these guys turning into like statues that is so good about their pain in life, it, turning them into these like stats. There's this one about this river, this like phantom river that comes every few hours in the creek. There's just this one here, Earthbound, is so good. Um, look at this, this art too. I mean, there's some really great craftsmanship. It's not that kind of big eyes, Sailor Moon stuff. He, it's very grounded. You know, it looks really good. It looks um, very modern. It, the the moments that are exaggerated, you know, some, something like this, of course, uh, he goes otherworldly, right? And it gets very graphic and very kind of gross. But besides these few moments, it's very kind of normal. Um, just the art, you know? The pacing's great. Again, I really, really enjoyed this. I can't wait to read the other books. I, I bought another one. He's got, he's got a bunch. Um, but I thought this was wonderful. The stories that I felt were the, the best 
was I really like Blood Sucking Darkness. Earthbound was great. Um, this one, this Mystery of the Haunted House and Mystery of the Haunted Sochi, uh, Sochi's Vision and Sochi's Beloved. Again. There's like a little bit of a trilogy, little short stories there. Those were good, but I really liked Earthbound better. And um, the Library of Vision was good. Mirror Valley was okay. I Don't Want to Be a Ghost was fine. I mean, these are just really good, good short stories. And they're all about around, you know, 40, 30 pages each. And um, it's just enough to kind of like sink your teeth into it. So if you like anthologies and you like horror, honestly, you cannot go wrong with this. And I feel so dumb that I'm just getting on board with this guy, but he is really great. And I think uh, you won't go wrong. So there you go. That's my review. Uh, check out the links below. Check out my Patreon if you're interested. And um, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Bye.